it is time now for 12 of our contestants to take one giant step closer to their dream. I'll call their names at random, rather than alphabetically or by score, and you folks at home will see the average preliminary score received by each contestant. Good luck to you, girls. Good luck to all of you. These are the 12 contestants who will compete throughout the telecast for the title of Miss Universe. And the first name on the list is Miss New Zealand. Number two is Miss Italy. And we want Miss Singapore. Miss Venezuela. And I think our audience here in the theater likes Miss Ireland. Number six, and Miss Norway is number six. And we begin the last six names with Miss Switzerland. on the list of 12 semi-finalists is that of Miss Spain. Here comes number nine. Number nine is Miss England. folks here in the Kiel Auditorium feel about Miss Finland. There are only two names left now. Come on down, Miss USA. one last contestant who might be Miss Universe of 1983. She is Miss Germany. Congratulations to our 12 semi-finalists, one of whom will be the new Miss Universe.
pretty exciting. I really meant it. A week's worth of judging has just turned 80 candidates into 12, and the computer now tells us that the top scores in the preliminary judging were, let me see here, oh, thank you, sir. Miss USA was first, second was Miss Venezuela, and third went to Miss Switzerland. Now, our scoring process is about to start all over with our 12 sum final all even. In the judging from now on, you are going to see and hear everything that our judges see and hear. And we're going to start with the interview competition when we come back after this word from Chris. I always look forward to the next part of our pageant. While we have met all of the young ladies who are semi-finalists, we haven't had the opportunity to get to know them. Hence, the interview competition. The young ladies don't know the questions they'll be asked, and nobody knows what their answers will be, so be ready for anything. Our audience at home will see the average score each contestant receives in this part of the competition, but those scores will not be seen by our panel of judges, our contestants, or the audience here in the theater. Each young lady has been advised that should she decide she needs or wants one, a translator is available for her from Berlitz, official interpreter for the Miss Universe pageant. Now, our first young woman in the Miss Universe interview competition is you, Miss New Zealand. Will you step right over here to me, please? She is Lorraine Downs. She's 19. She lives in Auckland. She's a model. And Miss New Zealand, many Americans are curious about your country. Why don't you just tell us about New Zealand? Well, New Zealand is a beautiful country. It's a very natural green country. And if you like the easy outdoor life, then you like New Zealand. And at home there in New Zealand, have you watched the Miss Universe pageant on CBS? Well, I've been watching the Miss Universe pageant since I was about eight years old, and I can't believe that I'm here now in it. <laughs> well, you are indeed. Now, you're 19. So she was three years old when I started doing the pageant. <laughs> Of course, I was only 20 years old when I... This fellow over here says, higher, higher. <sighs> Miss New Zealand, have you enjoyed your visit to St. Louis? Oh, it's been wonderful. It's one that I'm never going to forget. And the best thing of my visit has been the people of St. Louis. They have been so friendly and made everyone feel welcome. Thank you. Nicely put. Thank you. Uh, you'll see her score. with Miss Italy. She is Federica Moro. She is 18. She lives in Milan. Here. And she is a high school student. And after finishing high school, what are your plans? Well, after entering the Miss Italy pageant, I had many open doors in modeling. And I've been asked also to do some tryouts for actress. And since I am a very curious girl, maybe if something good is for me, I, I get it. But <clears throat> I'm interested in architecture, and this is not really perfect for a, a language student, but, you know, Italy is very full of arts and artists, so maybe I'll become one of them, I don't know. Now, do you remember what you said one time in rehearsal when I asked you what you'd like to talk about? Yes. What did you say? I said about Italian food. That's right. And especially now, this Now, I understand moment. that there are a lot of Italians in St. Louis. I'll bet they'd like to know what Italian... I'll bet they'd like to know what Italian food you like. Well, I could stay really here until tomorrow, but I would just make a short list. Uh, spaghetti and pizza, but real Italian pizza, yes. most, more than American pizza. And <laughs> I what, like ravioli, tortellini. What has been your favorite American food? Hamburger. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Italy. She's gone American on us already. Check her score, and let's talk with you, Miss Singapore. She is Lily Bing. She's 20 years old. She just completed. She just completed her studies in fashion design. And what is your ambition? Um, to own my own boutique You'd like and to your sell own my own clothes, yeah, my own now, design. I wonder uh, what comments you might make for our American audience here on, on the fashions of American women. What have you observed? In American women dressing or what? The dresses, the clothes that American women wear. Do you like them? Yeah, it's very casual. I like that in jeans and t-shirts. 
<laughs> what, <laughs> what have you enjoyed most in the USA? Eating strawberries. <laughs> I don't know about you judges, but I bet you just got the vote of the strawberry growers of America. Thank you, Miss Singapore. Venezuela, please. She is Paola Lugeri. She's 21 years old. She lives in Caracas. She attends Metropolitan University of Caracas. And although she speaks English, we'd like to have the Spanish-speaking interpreter just standing by. I'll, I'll ask you if, if she needs help. You're going to try this by yourself, aren't you? Yes, I will. Now, you're, I'll try. I'll you're try going, my best. You're going to the university. What are you studying? I'm studying business administration. And I'm very near to finish my career, and I have three more classes in my thesis, and I'll get graduate. And what would you like to do or be after you graduate? Well, in general, I will succeed in all my ambitions, and that means finish my career and be a good professional, uh, a good mother, then. Mm -hmm. And Not to be I'll a good try to help. Uh, how you say pro? Como se dice? Try to help what? Your brother. Try to Try help. help. Hermano? Yeah. No, it's Hermano. You stay out of this. <laughs> well, but if you want to be a, if you want, I'm, I'm only fooling. He's really leaving. Uh, <laughs> if you want to be a professional, that requires self-discipline. What I was leading up to, I read in your bio that mm -hmm. you were on the swimming team yes. for your country mm -hmm. in the 1976 Olympics, and that required self-discipline, didn't yes. it? Yes. Very disciplined. <laughs> you were in Montreal, were you? Yes, in Montreal. Uh, I turned my 15 years old there. And, well, I would like to tell you that uh, there's been a lot of coincidence in my life, and... I'll turn 15 there, and I'll be 22 here on Thursday. And, and I'm very glad to pass it here in St. Louis. Thank you yeah. very much, Ms. Venezuela. Very good. At home, you see her score. Before we talk with you, Miss Ireland. She is Roberta Brown. She's 20. She lives in Londonderry. She's studying textiles and fashion. And we got off on athletics with Miss Venezuela. Now, I read about you in the sports pages, didn't I? <laughs> Yes, it's not every day you get to knock over one of the world champions in the football field. Darrell Porter, I knocked him over six times. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's not the uh, athletic feat I was referring to. You're also a runner, aren't you? Yes, I'm a long-distance marathon runner, and I've run for seven years now and in the World Cross Country Championships. If you're going to knock over Darrell Porter, it's a good idea to be able to run. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> now, I believe that uh, your chaperone told me that you would like to open a health food store. Is that correct? Yes, I hope perhaps next year to open a health food restaurant combined with the craft industry in the United States. Is it true you're looking for capital to do this? That's a very subtle hint. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was thinking is we might raise a little... How many, how many would like to invest in Miss Ireland's health food store? Just raise your... Look at this. Look, there, there are a lot of hands up and every one is attached to a young man. I think we can raise a lot of money. Thank you, Miss Thank Ireland. Thank you. Thank you. Well, here she is. I turned my back on her, and she sneaked up on me. Miss Norway, right over here in this good light. I want you to look just as pretty as you are. There you are. Now, she's Karen Elizabeth Dublog, 21, just finished junior college, plans to attend the University of Oslo in the fall, and what do you want to study? I want to study English because uh, uh, I want to become a foreign diplomat because I like uh, to travel, I like to take care of people and be around people, and I like to speak English. <laughs> and you already speak how many languages? I speak uh, English and a little of German and French. Uh -huh. And you want to be a diplomat for your country? For my country, Is yes. this your first visit to the United States? No, I've been here two times before. Where have you been before? I have been in Connecticut for quite a long time, and I've been traveling to several other states. Did you get to California? Yes, I was there one month. Did you see Disneyland? No, I did not, I'm afraid. I'll go back there, so I'll get to see this. Oh, yes, you have to see Mickey Mouse. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Norway. Well, 
Well, you have met half of our semi-finalists. How about it, you armchair judges? Is what... We have had a chance to meet six of our semi-finalists, and now it's time to talk with the other six. And I am going to start with you, Miss Switzerland. Would you come out to me? She is Lolita Moreno, age 22, student at the University of Geneva. A university student studying what? I'm studying Egyptology. Egyptology? Yes. In reading the classified ads, I see no mention of Egyptologists. Are there, well, what does an Egyptologist do? Okay, do you know what is an archaeologist? An archaeologist, okay, I do. Okay, right. So it's the same thing, but only about Egypt. And so you will uh, end up in only Egypt? I mean, you would not be an archaeologist in other countries? Is that why you... Oh, uh, no, I would like to go only to Egypt um, because it's a marvelous civilization. I think we have a lot to, to learn from that civilization. Indeed we do. Now, I have heard you doing a lot of interpreting here in the last week. How many languages do you speak? I speak five languages. What are they? <laughs> Thank you. That applause was started by five different people who speak different languages. Okay, it's English a little bit, like you can hear, and English French is, is my mother language. Italian, Spanish, and German. You speak German? Yeah. Now, you know, in St. Louis, there are also many, many people of German extraction. Mm -hmm. And would you like, would you like to wind up your interview, would you like to wind up your interview with a tremendous reaction from the audience? Uh, Let yeah. me tell you what to do. Okay. In German, you say, the Cardinals are going to take it all. <laughs> uh. Just a moment. The Cardinals are, are the next Gewinner. There you are. Thank you, Mr. Phil. Dodgers are watching. I'm only kidding up here. You know that. Miss Spain. Ana Isabel Herrero, age 18, and in your bio it said that you are studying flying and that you want to make aviation your career. Is that right? Right. <laughs> and how long, how far along are you in your studies? Have you soloed? I don't speak English. You don't speak English? No. Do you want an interpreter? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you spoke English. Yes. Would uh, one of you come out here now? I have Miss Spain. Oh, boy, I'm in trouble now here. <laughs> Hermano is back. Now, ask her if it's true that she wants to study flying and make aviation a career. ¿Es cierto que usted quiere estudiar piloto y hacer de la aviación una carrera? Sí, me gusta mucho la aviación y me gustaría ser instructor de vuelo de, de ultraligeros y avionetas. Ah, uh, yes, I like aviación very much and would like to be an uh, instructor for, for pilots. And uh, tell her also that I have read in her bio that horseback riding is her hobby. Has, has she seen the famous St. Louis Clydesdale? Ha leído que usted también le gusta montar a caballo. ¿Y ¿Ha oído hablar sobre los famosos Clydesdale de, de San Luis? Sí, sí que los he oído hablar y los he visto. Estuve el otro día viéndolos en la cervecería. Sí, yes, she's heard about it, about them, and she's also seen them the other day. What did she think of them? ¿Qué pensó de ellos? Me gustaron mucho. Estaban bastante fuertes. She liked it very much, and they were real strong. They are very strong. That's all that beer they drink. Of course, they're strong. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Miss Spain. You. Thank you, sir. You've seen her score, and we'll continue with Miss England, who is Karen Moore, 21, from Portsmouth, a model, and her career ambition is to become a television presenter. Now, I'm a television presenter. I present refrigerators and I present motorcycles, but I'll bet in England a television presenter is a different thing. Yes, a television presenter is um, similar to, well, it's the same as your job. Um, it involves appearances on television. It, it involves what? Appearances on television. Well, my job uh, involves appearances on television. Well, some people ignore them, but it involves that. Yes, that's right. In England, you would be classed as a television presenter. I think over here you call it... Um, a personality, television personality, so I'm told. I see. Now, you are also very, very proud, I understand you're very proud of your Green Beret. Yes, I am indeed. In England we have um, 
It's a very high honor to have a Green Beret, and I'm one of very few ladies who have it. It involved a year of work all over Europe and most of England, and it's very strenuous work. Not many women do do it, but it was given to me as a challenge, so I'm pleased to have it. What kind of work did you have to do to become a Green Beret? Well, what are some of the things you did? Well, I went to North Norway, and I went up into the field, which is the snow, with rucksacks on my back, and I did training and... With what on your back? Rucksacks. Rucksacks on your yes. back? And I did snow skiing, and they taught me to do parachuting and all sorts of things. It was very good training for rehearsals here in St. Louis, wasn't it? Yes, it was indeed. I certainly needed it. <laughs> Thank you, Miss England. You will see her score at home, but we do not see it in the theater. We are now going to talk with Miss Finland. Miss Finland is Nina Ricola. She's 20. She's a model. You are a model. But your job as Miss Finland is full-time now, isn't it? Yes, I'm a professional model now in Finland, and I have to travel a lot and meet people and modeling. Now, I'm sure that people here in the United States who are watching us and all over the world, they're curious just what, when you represent your country, what sort of duties do you have? What are your duties? Uh, excuse me, what do you mean? What, is your, what do you do as Miss Finland in representing your country what is your job? What do you do? You go, you interv do interviews? Yes, make sometimes. Make appearances? Sometimes, and modeling, and photographs, and something like that. Now, you have a pen pal here, do you not? Yes, I have. Tell our audience about that. She's now here somewhere. I don't know where. But how <laughs> long has she been your pen pal? Uh, Eleven years. And how did you two start writing? Uh, it was one magazine in Finland, and I found her name, and I tried to... Try. And now you've met her here as a result of the pageant. Yes, I think that's time. wonderful. And also, if you young men would like to meet uh, or have a pen pal who looks like Miss Finland, send me your name, your address, and ten dollars, and uh, I'll do what I can for you. Thank you, Miss Finland. And now, Miss USA, would you come out here? She is Julie Hyatt. Miss USA is 22. She lives in La Cañada, which is a suburb of Los Angeles. She's a senior at UCLA, and she's a pre-dental major. And I had the pleasure of crowning you about two months ago, and what have your adventures been since? Oh, boy, I've been traveling throughout the United States. I've already been to seven different cities, and I've worked with Special Olympics since then. And have you spent much time in New York, where I know you're going to live now? I live in New York now, so I have. You have indeed. Now, you are going to become a dentist, and you have rather elaborate plans for your office, I hear. Oh, Why I don't do. you tell me about those? Okay, I have two plans. First is, I, I'm going to take care of my female clientele by having male dental assistants work for me. Of course. <laughs> and then my second plan is my dental offices could be in the shape of a horseshoe, where I'll have all the chairs facing inward towards a garden, where I'll have small animals. All what kind of animals? Um, probably rabbits. Animals that I can take care of in a small garden. And of course, you are going to help control the pet population, have them all spayed or that's, neutered. That's right. Yes. So Thank, well. you, Ms. Thank you, Miss <laughs> USA. <laughs> Miss Germany is Loana Radecki. She's 20. She lives in Berlin, and you want an interpreter, don't you? Yes. Would you come help us, please? Uh, would you ask her, what does she do in Berlin? What, what is her job? I'm a legal assistant. What did you get her out here for now, if you're going to speak English with me? I think when I'm nervous, I understand nothing. Well, you understood that, so you must not be nervous. You're a legal uh, secretary? Assistant, yes. Uh, legal assistant. What sort of things do you do? What is, what is your job? Uh, uh, more details about her job. How long does your job your job? Wo arbeiten Sie? Über wie eine schreiben. Uh, well, her job mostly consists of typing. I see. Ask her if she's, uh, since she's been in the United States, if she's seen the Price is Right. Uh, haben Sie gesehen The Price is Right, that is in the Vereinigten Staaten sind? Verstehe nicht. Uh, <laughs> I think that was a mistake. I should never have asked that question. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> Nine. Nine is no, isn't it? Tell her that the Price is Right is one of our cultural, uh, it's a very important cultural thing. It is a besondere Kulturleistung der Vereinigten Staaten. Das müssen Sie sich unbedingt ansehen. Ich werde es beim nächsten Mal sofort ansehen. 
Uh, next time I'm going to look at it right away. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. The interview competition among our 12 semi-finalists has now been completed. You have seen and heard just what our judges observed. How about it? Does your opinion agree with theirs? Well, either way, there's more competition ahead. We come now to the second of our competitive categories, the swimsuit competition. Our contestants will appear in their swimwear by Catalina, and each judge will enter a score for each contestant into our computer. As each young lady appears on your screens, our audience at home will see the average score attained by that contestant. Our setting, which includes the beautiful dancing waters, recalls one of the most memorable attractions at the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. Ladies and gentlemen, the Crystal Palace. semi-finalists in the Miss Universe swimsuit competition. Miss New Zealand. is a green-eyed brunette. She weighs 116 pounds and is 5 feet 7 inches tall. Miss Singapore! Lee is 5 feet 6 and a half inches tall. She weighs 110 pounds. She's 20 years old with black hair and dark brown eyes. Miss Venezuela. Paula is 21 years old. Stands 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighs 125 pounds. She has brown eyes and light brown hair. Miss Ireland. Twenty-year-old Roberta is a blue-eyed blonde. She weighs 115 pounds and is five feet seven inches tall. Miss Norway. Standing five feet ten inches tall. Elizabeth weighs 132 pounds. She's 21 years old with blonde hair and blue eyes. Miss Switzerland. and weighs 110 pounds. is tall and weighs 125 pounds.
Miss England. Karen weighs 119 pounds and stands 5 feet 6 inches tall. She has green eyes and blonde hair. And Karen is 21 years old. is 22 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall, and weighs 125 pounds. She has blonde hair and green eyes. Miss Germany! Standing 6 feet tall, Loana weighs 132 pounds. She's 20 years old with blonde hair and brown eyes. There are the 12 semi-finalists in tonight's swimsuit competition.
competition among our semi-finalists is over, we are about to see our contestants go from 12 down there to 5. In our evening gown competition, the judges went first place with Miss USA again, second place went to Miss New Zealand, and third place was Miss Venezuela. Ahead is the announcement of our five finalists, and that's going to happen right after this word from Tide. For thousands of young women all over the world, the dream was to wear the crown of Miss Universe. Eventually, from those thousands, 80 found their way to our stage tonight. We saw that 80 become 12. We're about to see that 12 become 5. The computer will tell us which five of our semi-finalists have been chosen by our judges to become finalists. The composite score each young woman received in tonight's competition will be shown on your television screen as she's introduced. Now, may I have the computer results, please? Thank you. I have the list of five finalists right here. In a very few moments, one of these five young ladies will become Miss Universe. Good luck to all of you. The first name on the list, Miss England. The second on the list of five finalists is Miss New Zealand. And to join the happy little group, Miss Ireland. Miss USA. One more name, one more name on the list of five finalists, one more contestant who has a chance to be Miss Universe. She is Miss Switzerland. moments one of these five young ladies will be our new Miss Universe <laughs> the title of Miss Universe carries with it prestige glamour and international recognition it also carries some very tangible rewards including $90,000 in cash. Miss Universe's prize package, totaling more than $150,000 in cash and merchandise, includes a $25,000 personal appearance contract, a $15,000 first prize award, as well as each of the sensational prizes Joan is going to describe for us. A year ago in Lima, Peru, where a young lady from Canada captured the hearts of the world and the votes of the judges and was crowned Miss Universe. In the years since, she has brought great credit to her country, to the Miss Universe pageant, and to herself. We congratulate Karen Baldwin as we invite her now to take her traditional walk and deliver her words of farewell. Here is our reigning Miss Universe, Karen Baldwin. all the gratitude I feel to people all over the world who have shown me so much friendship and kindness. To my friends at Miss Universe Incorporated, I would like to extend a heart full of friendship. To my family, my love and gratitude. And to my successor, my congratulations, with the hope that her year will be as happy and rewarding as mine has been. Thank you all very much.
computer tabulating results listing our four runners up and our new Miss Universe are now ready. They've been reviewed by representatives of the international accounting firm of Ernst & Winnie. And Mr. Kilkiri of that firm is about to hand me those results. Thank you, Mr. Kilkiri. Before I read it, I want to say on behalf of everyone associated with this pageant that we would be very pleased to have any one of you five be Miss Universe of 1983. Our audience agrees, obviously. I shall begin with the fourth runner-up. The fourth runner-up is Miss England. Congratulations, Miss England. The third runner-up is Miss Switzerland. Well done, Miss Switzerland. The second runner-up is Miss Ireland. is about to become Miss Universe. The other will be the first runner-up, an important position, because if for any reason Miss Universe cannot fulfill her obligations for the entire year, the first runner-up becomes Miss Universe. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I shall read the name of the first runner-up and then Miss Universe. The first runner-up is Miss USA. Miss New Zealand is Miss Universe. Miss Universe of 1983. She's won all the cash awards and magnificent prizes totaling more than $150,000. Now, as your predecessor, Karen Baldwin, reads the Miss Universe Creed, you step out and show everyone how happy you are to be our new Miss Universe. On behalf of Lorraine Downs, Miss New Zealand, who is now Miss Universe, this is Bob Barker saying good night, everyone. What a night it's been for all of us as we watched a beautiful young lady from Auckland, New Zealand, have her dream come true and before millions of people. It's been a thrill to share this evening with who and with all of you. So thank you for joining us tonight from St. Louis, and thanks to everyone in this great, beautiful city for their wonderful hospitality. Until next year, this is Joan Van Ark. CBS on Tuesday night, August 30th, for the Miss Teen USA pageant live from Lakeland, Florida. Portions of this program were pre-recorded.